Welcome back. As we mentioned, tonight thousands are preparing to march on Staten Island tomorrow on Saturday, all in relation to speaking out against the police-related deaths of 43-year-old Eric Garner and now, since that incident, the 18-year-old Michael Brown's death in Ferguson, Missouri. Now, protesters, they're calling for justice, demanding that the police officers tied to those cases be arrested. And as Eric Garner's family tells our own Dominic Carter, they also want to see justice served, Don? That is indeed the case. The Garner family, Richard, they want this to go to court. And at the end of the day, as you just said, they want justice. This cop, he's an animal. Then he have the balls to stand behind and hold his hands up like he was proud of what he did. Then he turned around and grabbed his crouch on TV. What about what the police have been bringing up, saying that your son had been arrested 31 times for selling illegal cigarettes? How many people have he hurt? How many people have he arrested before? For nothing. If he was sold cigarettes, so what? He, he, that don't mean they got to, he got to die behind that. Because a whole lot of people is doing illegal things, and they, they, they didn't die then. If it would have been a safe to say it, but I'm put it this way. If it would have been a white boy, would he have choked him? Would they have choked them to death like that? Everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, every time I turn on the TV, every time I'm riding the train, every time I'm at work, I hear about it. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. I want something done. In your opinion, what happens now? What's the next step in all of this? Criminal charges. Going after the people that went after my father. That every person that touched my father on that ground needs to go to jail. I'm angry, I'm disappointed at the system. Um, I just hope that justice will prevail. How do you define justice, ma'am? Justice, to me, if you do the right thing about anyone that has misused their power, and especially in this case against my son, and the whole world could see he was not trying to attack the police. He wasn't running from the police. He did nothing to provoke this. And why did they take my son's life? That was so senseless, so uncalled for. I almost lost my mind. I was uncontrollable. My husband, my brother-in-law, everybody had to like calm me down. I literally lost my mind and now I can't even look at it. I couldn't even finish looking at it the first time, but when I seen what they were doing to my son, tore my heart out, just tore my heart out. And now on TV, they just keep, it's like they keep killing them over and over and over. My husband won't even let me have the remote control. Do you feel the mayor's done the right thing? The mayor's been very supportive, very supportive. Dominic, thank you. And be sure again, tune in to Fios One News tomorrow, complete coverage of the march here. And you don't want to miss because on Monday, in addition to Dominic covering the march tomorrow on the Grand Staten Island, some of the conversations he'll share with us on Monday, he also has a one-on-one -on -one interview with the former New York Police Commissioner Ray Kelly. Again, that Monday, 6 p.m. here on RFL. Okay, when we come back, we're going to have a look at some news making uh, headlines outside of the city. In fact, we'll take a look at the Hudson Valley after this.